For today, we will talk about the quadratic equations. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to illustrate quadratic equations and solve quadratic equations by extracting square roots. First, siyempre, we will define the quadratic equation. A quadratic equation is one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. The standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. The numerical coefficient ng ating ax squared is a. So, dapat yung a natin is not equal to 0 kasi kung 0 yung a natin is makakansin yung value ng ating first term. So, first, let's talk about the standard form of the quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c. So, yung ating quadratic term is siya yung ating first term. Ang pinakaklo lang natin para malaman kung sino si quadratic term is siya yung term na may exponent na 2. So, ito yan. Next is the linear term. So, ito yung ating gitna, si bx. So, paano natin malalaman kung sino si linear term? So, si linear term is, siya yung term na yung exponent ng ating variable, which is yung variable natin dito is si x. Ang exponent na is 1. So, alam naman natin lahat na kapag ang exponent natin is 1, is hindi na natin siya kailangang ilagay. So, yung exponent ng ating variable x is 1. And yung ating last term, which is c, is siya yung ating constant term. So, yung ating constant term is wala siyang kasamang variable, wala siyang kasamang exponent. So, numerical value lang yung ating constant term. So, let's have an example para mas malaman natin kung ano ba yung value ng a, b, and c dun sa ating standard form. So, we have an example which is 3x squared plus 8x plus 10 is equal to 0. So, kung mapapansin natin is nasa standard form yung ating given na mathematical sentence. Quadratic term, linear term, constant term. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung value ng A, B, and C. A is equal to 3. Bakit? Tandaan lang natin, ang value ng A or para mahanap yung value ng A is siya yung kasama or yung numerical coefficient ng ating quadratic term. So, this is the quadratic term and the numerical coefficient is 3. So, the value of A is 3. The value of B is 8. Siya naman yung numerical coefficient ng ating linear term, which is 8x yung ating linear term. And the numerical coefficient is 8. The value of C is 10. So, siya yung ating constant term. As it is, kung ano yung constant term natin, siya yung value ng ating C. Let's have another example, which is our mathematical sentence is x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, find a, b, and c. The value of our a is 1. Kung mapapansin natin is we don't have 1. Tama? Wala tayo nakikitang 1 sa ating mathematical sentence. So, tandaan lang natin, kapag ang isang variable is wala siyang nakalagay ng numerical coefficient, ibig sabihin is 1 ang kanyang numerical coefficient. Yung quadratic term natin dito is x squared. So, understood na yun. Walang numerical coefficient na nakalagay. So, yung value ng ating a is 1. b is equal to 2. So, 2x. So, yung b natin is 2. The value of c is negative 4. Tandaan natin, sinasama natin yung sign nung ating term. Which is, yung constant term natin is negative 4. So, ang ating c is equal to negative 4. Let's move on in solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Quadratic equations that can be written in the form x squared is equal to k can be solved by applying the following properties. So, kapag yung ating mathematical sentence is nasa form siya ng x squared is equal to k, pwede siyang masolve using extracting square roots. So, we have properties to be followed. So, ang una-una is if k is greater than 0, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. Sa ating unang property is, ibig sabihin lang na yung value ng k natin is greater than 0 or positive numbers. Number two is, if k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has one real solution or root. So, kung yung k natin is 0, meron lang tayong isang solution. 
Number three is if k is less than zero, then x squared is equal to k has no real solutions or roots. So simple, simple lang kapag ang k natin is negative or yung value ng ating k is negative, we have no real solutions or roots. The method of solving the quadratic equation x squared is equal to k is called extracting the square roots. Example number one, find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 by extracting square roots. First is we will write the equation in the form of x squared is equal to k. So yung given natin is x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So yung ating given na equation is dapat nasa form siya ng x squared is equal to k. So kailangan natin i-transpose sa negative 9. So negative 9, transpose natin sa kabila, it will become positive. So nasa form na siya ng ating x squared is equal to k. So x squared is equal to 9. So yung value ng k natin is 9. Since 9 is greater than 0, then mag-fall siya sa property number 1 which is if k is greater than 0, we have two real solutions. x squared is equal to 9. To cancel out the square, we need to square root yung ating kabilang term or yung ating k which is 9. Dahil two solutions nga tayo is we will add positive negative. So x is equal to positive negative square root of 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. So x is equal to positive negative 3. So the equation x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 has two solutions or roots which are x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3. Hinati lang natin kasi sabi niya kanina, x is equal to positive negative 3. So x is equal to positive 3 or x is equal to negative 3. Another example, find the solutions of equation r squared plus 25 is equal to 0 by extracting square root. Same process tayo. First is we need to write the equation in the form of x squared is equal to k. So r squared plus 25 is equal to 0. So 25, ililipat natin sa kabila. Itatranspose natin. Positive, it will become negative. r squared is equal to negative 25. So nasa form na siya ng x squared is equal to k. Since negative 25 is less than 0, kasi negative siya, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Magpupol siya sa property number 3 which is if k is less than 0, then we have no real solution or roots. So wala tayong isa solve kasi nga the value of k is negative. The equation r squared plus 25 is equal to 0 has no solutions or roots. Number 3, find the solutions of the equation the quantity of p minus 4 squared minus 25 is equal to 0 by extracting square roots. Same process, write the equation in the form of x squared is equal to k. So the quantity of p minus 4 squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So we transpose natin sa negative 25 sa kabila. So ang mangyayari, the quantity of p minus 4 squared is equal to 25. So we have the value of k. Since 25 is greater than 0, then Magpupol siya sa ating property number 1 which is if k is greater than 0, we have 2 real solutions or roots. The quantity of p minus 4 squared is equal to 25. So same process, kailangan makancel si square. We will square root yung ating kabila which is 25. So p minus 4 is equal to positive negative square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. p minus 4 is equal to positive negative 5. This time kasi hindi pa siya tapos. Tama? Kasi meron pa tayong negative 4 dito and meron pa tayong positive negative 5. Kailangan yung sa kaliwa natin is nag-iisang variable lang siya. Wala siyang ibang kasama. Which is dito is may kasama siyang negative 4. So P is equal to positive negative transpose negative 4 magiging positive which is naging plus 4. Next, hahatiin lang natin si positive negative 5. So, unang una is yung positive muna. P is equal to 5, which is positive, plus 4. So, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So, meron na tayo yung isang value ni P, which is 9. Next, yung negative naman. P is equal to negative 5 plus 4. So, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So, the value of our 
Isa pang P is equal to negative 1. The equation, the quantity of P minus 4 squared minus 25 is equal to 0 has two solutions or roots which are P is equal to 9 or P is equal to negative 1. So we have our last example which is find the solutions of the equation 2x squared minus 72 is equal to 0 by extracting square roots. Same process tayo, write the equation in the form of x squared is equal to a. So 2x squared minus 72 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 72. So ang mangyayari is 2x squared is equal to 72. So kung mapapansin natin is kailangan yung term natin is nasa x squared is equal to k siya. But this time kasi meron pa tayong kasamang 2. Yung numerical coefficient ng ating x squared is 2. So kailangan natin i-cancel muna yung 2 na yun. To cancel it out, we will divide both sides by 2. Kung ano yung ating numerical coefficient sa ating x squared. So 2x squared over 2 is equal to 72 over 2. So sa kabila din is, di-divide din natin siya ng 2. So kung mangyari, x squared is equal to 36. Kasi 72 over 2 is 36. So nasa form na tayo ng x squared is equal to k. Since 36 is greater than 0, then Pag-fall siya sa property number 1 which is k is greater than 0, we have two real solutions or roots. What if ganito yung example natin? So dito muna tayo. Hayaan muna natin yung ating ina-answer kanina. So tingnan natin to ha. So 9x squared is equal to 100. What if ganito yung ating scenario? So syempre kailangan natin i-cancel si 9. So we will divide both sides by 9. To cancel yung ating numerical coefficient sa ating x squared. So, 9x squared over 9 is equal to 100 over 9. x squared is equal to 100 over 9. So, kanina is, pwede natin siyang i-divide, kaya naging whole number. But this time is, we can't divide it, tama, 100 over 9. And hindi rin tayo makakahanap ng lowest term. So, ano ba yung gagawin natin? Next step is, same process na tayo. So, kailangan makancel si squared. So, mangyari, x is equal to positive negative squared of 100 over 9. So this time is, ang 100 is a perfect square and 9 is also a perfect square. So ang square root ng 100 is 10, ang square root ng 9 is 3. So ang magiging value ng x natin is equal to positive negative 10 over 3. So hatiin natin yung positive negative. So x is equal to positive 10 over 3 or 10 over 3 or negative 10 over 3. So kung ganito yung scenario natin is ganito yung gagawin nyo. So, balikan natin yung ating equation kanina which is x squared is equal to 36. So, same process. x is equal to positive negative squared of 36 and 36 is a perfect square. So, 36 ang square root niya is 6. So, x is equal to positive negative 6. The equation 2x squared minus 72 is equal to 0 has two solutions or roots and these are x is equal to 6 or x is equal to negative 6. That ends our video lesson. Kindly like, subscribe, and click the notification bell button para lagi kayong updated sa ating mga video lessons and also leave your comments down below. Maraming maraming salamat and God bless.